hello guys welcome back to my channel if this happens to be your first time in this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on that post notification so that you get notified every single time i post a new video so my name is genuino for those who are new as you can probably see from the title today i'm going to give you guys a room not even a room tour a bed sitter stroke a studio apartment tour so you're gonna go get to see how it looks like and i'm so excited to show you guys because i feel like um, i've never let you guys in on my things so this is going to be like a you know a, a not even a sneak peek a full peek of of my area so let's go straight into that video uh, for those who don't know a bed sitter or rather a studio apartment it's just an apartment whereby everything is just in one room from the kitchen area to the bathroom uh not uh to the bedding or uh, to the bedroom area to the sitting room area or the restroom area everything is just in one room so let's just go straight into that video i just want to turn my camera around so that you know you guys can be able to see and leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this room too all right so let's go straight into that video the first thing you meet when you come here is actually the door this is how the door looks like so i'm just going to open it so that we have light coming in so i have these shears as my curtains as you can see they come all the way down and i used black white black blue theme uh, so that they match this carpet over here somehow so that's the idea and then i have this um thick one let me zoom in you can see this is thicker so when it's at night i actually just put this over so that nobody can be able to see what is going on um in the inside right and then we have this light let me just open the light so that you guys will be able to see and that's what you walk into so that's how the the door looks like and then the next thing you see when you come is the washroom area this is the washroom and so let me just get there so that you guys will be able to see so the first thing you notice about this washroom is that uh, in this space there is we have the shower and then so this is where you shower and then as water goes into the loo right and then um this is the a tap so when you need to wash your clothes you can actually just wash your clothes here so this is self uh contained this is a self-contained bathroom you get here you shower you go to the washroom and then you leave <laughs> finally this is where we keep the soap uh and then this is where i keep um should be keeping the tissue here but as you can see this hook is not there so instead i just keep it here on the window because i don't have a shelf in here so this is where you um i keep my essentials okay the light is misbehaving but it's okay and then i have this rough uh bathing net over here when you use this on your skin oh all the dead skin will be gone so that's basically how the bathroom looks like maybe I just give you guys a uh, uh, summary this is the these are the walls and then that's how the floor looks like so we are done let's let's go to the next area so then the open when the door opens up i had put this rug here so you see this uh, so when you come out here when you're wet you can always just step on this and then um this is the kitchen area when you come to the kitchen first i have this the trash can and then this is the stove where i cook my food <laughs> as you can see there's something here but it's not like it's not on so then i wanted to show you guys this uh thingy that is so cute <laughs> <laughs> this is santa claus a palm some santa claus so i use this to you know when i'm cooking and then there's hot food so i use this one that's its purpose and then i just put this hook here i stuck it here on the wall so that i could hang this over here and then now we go to the next place which is the sink and what i love about this sink is that the water comes out so with a lot of pressure you know and you know when you're washing uh, the dishes and there's this much pressure it's really just fun and enjoyable so basically this is the 
the sink and then I have this uh, detergent for just washing and then these are just bottles of water that I have there then I have this rack over here so the lower part I, I like to put mugs and then this is where I just put the plates so for some reason I decided to arrange them in order of <laughs> from the smallest to the largest so what I love about this it, it has a, 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 a compartment or rather a space where you can keep the spoons and the knives in one area and then I don't know for some reason I don't know how, what this is used for so I just decided to hang this knife like that and so on the kitchen we have these shelves over here so then I have these cereal um, jars that I just stashed some things inside of them and then this is just the extra towel that I use here in the kitchen and then this is just some juice over there so I kept this here because I don't have anywhere else to keep it where I can access it easily when I need to leave. So these are just the padlocks. And then, oopsie, the lights just went off. So anyway, this is just paper towel. These are just essentials that I need in the kitchen. And we have these open, um, this open cupboard rather. It's not closed, so it's just open. And so for there's a socket here where you can use if you want to blend things in the kitchen or to heat some water, you can use this socket over here. And then in the upper area, <laughs> I decided to try some decor. So I DIY'd this on my own, by the way. I just spray painted it and I wanted to use it as a decor. This is just a bottle. So I put it there so that, you know, I can have something going on here i hope it works but this is just something i use to store things like onions coriander things like that so i bought these matchy ones you can see this much as this so that i can have some decor-ish idea here oh the lights are now back and then this is just an hourglass <laughs> i put an hourglass in both places so tell me if this worked does it look like a decor up there <laughs> So basically, this is how the kitchen looks like as a whole. Oh, now somebody just put on some loud music. Let me just close the door to avoid copyright. Good. Uh, so this is the kitchen area now as an overview. This is what it looks like. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I didn't show you guys. I have some extra specs here. Where I just saw uh, I store essentials or non-issues. It's nothing fancy. And then, so let me tell you the story of this. I didn't show you guys. This, when I bought this, the intention was to keep, to, to use it as storage for water. But then I got here and there was just enough water uh, that is flowing throughout. So I actually put some extra uh, shopping things inside here. So this is a storage equipment. <laughs> and then this one over here is just my basket that I use to... Um, to keep dirty laundry in here and yeah so that's the kitchen area how it looks like so next i want us to go to my sitting area <laughs> so guys let me show you the truth of the matter this is actually what my sitting area looks like this is it basically just this wooden um just this wooden carpet because i don't have any furniture yet so this is what i use uh, most of the time to sit here and i also put it here because when it's cold and then i'm from the bed i can just step on it and then this here is just my speaker that i bought when i was in my campus days <laughs> it's actually so old it's about five years old imagine that so let me give you an overview of my sitting area and that's just how it looks like that's it so i have okay this is my bedroom area that's just it this is my bed, uh, this is my laptop that I use to edit video, and this is my sweet, sweet, this is the word of God. The most powerful tool I have in my whole entire house is this. And I have this, um, I don't know how to call it, should I call it a mini table or what? Why I love it is that uh, you can see it's adjustable, so you can just do this, and then you have it like that right and so when you're seated on the bed probably when i sit here to edit a video i can just you know adjust it so that i don't have to bend so low 
and then I put it next to me. If I want to eat some breakfast or something on the bed, I just adjust it and I use it. As you can see, it's very stable. So if you also, it's good if you're, if you're reading a book, you can just put the book over here and then you, you write over here and then you put some, you know, your drink, your hot drink, your hot coffee here and you read. So I use this uh, also here on the, on the seat. See, oopsie. All right, because I'm one person, so it's hard. So I wanted to show you. Also, use it here on the sitting area, so I can just sit here and put a pillow here and just either work there, work from there, or eat or whatever. So this is basically my bedroom area, and this is my bed. So this is my my fiber pillows that I really love because they are so soft. You won't wake up with a bad neck. And that's just it. So that's how my bedroom area looks like. And so I also have a, a storage space over here, which is my closet area. <laughs> Maybe I just and then down here is where I keep my bags and extra things. Like if you notice, I put my shoes here for lack of something, a uh, better place to keep them. And then I keep my panties and things like that in both of these. So this is how the bedroom area looks like. And generally, the whole thing, this is how it looks like. Let me give you guys a twirl. So like I say, down the bedroom area, like that. And then that's where the kitchen starts from. <laughs> this is my like, a small kitchen. And then over there, it's the bathroom area. And then this is now it. Let me just open the door so that you have extra light. So this is it. And then this is my sitting area. I love it because it's a huge space, by the way. And I'm not pl planning to furnish anytime soon. So I'm always going to have this space here to work out. I love working out. So I have all this space here to just do my workouts and things like that. That was the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section. Or maybe when I upgrade or rather when I... I transform it uh, the space kidogo or i furnish it but i'm not going to furnish it anytime soon by the way so maybe i'm just going to do some diys for the walls because you see the walls are so empty yeah just to make it a little homely for me so let me know what you think about the space uh on the comment section and that's it for my video uh see you guys on my next video which is not so far away actually it's very soon. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.